All right, everyone. We are back. We are back. I hope you guys can see me. Okay, this is Ultra Dark Slayer. Thank you for coming, guys. And we just... Well, I just watched the Games uh, Summer's Fest uh, showcase. And, uh, and of course, sometimes these showcases don't do so well. But this time, it was enjoyable for the most part. It wasn't great. wasn't bad. It was just enjoyable just to see games popping up. And, uh, of course, and it did start it off with uh, LEGO Horizon. Uh, it's, uh, it's a cooperative game that you can play with your friends. Coach co-op and online is, of course, part, is part of the uh, Horizon uh, series. So, uh, if anybody's interested in that, then it's, there's going to be a, uh, uh, some type of horror game called No More Room in Hell. Uh, two, I believe it's a PC port. Uh, uh, if you guys are interested in that, but then finally we're gonna get a Quidditch game for the world of Harry Potter, and of course you guys heard that uh, uh, WB Game Studios had did drop a special update for those that never got to experience other things from from the exclusive uh, story mission on uh, on the play on on the. The current platform, so now it's finally free, ready to go on on all platforms. So that is great to hear. So yes, a Quidditch game is coming. Uh, Quidditch Champions, Harry Potter's Quidditch Champions. Uh, I'm 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 interested in playing this game because you know I do like Harry Potter and playing Quidditch would be fun to do. And then there's this weird uh, escape, uh, kind of like almost uh, you know uh. Like a kind of like a, uh, I forgot what the other game called, but this looks fun. It's like a prison game where you and your friends have to get out. It's called uh, uh, Calf Bust, you know. And then, of course, Star Wars Outlaws has made an appearance. It's coming out later this year. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick in that game up. And then another uh, indie game title came out, which is uh, of course, uh, what's it called? Uh, Va Vanna, I believe that's what it's called. Very artistic game, and then there's gonna be uh, the Civilization game, a new one. I think I believe is number eight, I believe, in the series. Yes, it is, and it's coming later this year, I, I suppose. And then a new series called uh, Ram Fantasio. Is gonna be coming soon. I can't wait to try out that game too, cause it is kind of like a Persona game. So I can't wait for that game to come out. And then the long-awaited Arkham game that is gonna be exclusively only for the meta, for the for the meta quest, Batman: Arkham Shadows. That's gonna be a interesting game, interesting game for people. And then another uh, type of games coming out. It is indeed a co-op. Type style game, a lot of uh, sworn of enemies, kind of like a war game going on. It's called Tears of Metal, and then another shooter game called the F Delta Force uh, Hawk Ops, which is a shooter game. Going to be interesting, interesting to see. And then finally, a new Fate of Fury game coming to the modern consoles. Uh, for those who are interested in fighting games. And then Blue House Games is going to be making a, a couple games here and there. We don't know what it is. But then, what caught my eye? What caught my eye when in the showcase is not other than Power Rangers Rita's Rewind. So, classic Power Rangers action combat style the same way that that uh the ninja turtles game style arcade had came out uh, i think a year or two ago and this is going to be the exact same style of that plus it's like a big reminiscent of you know uh the, like the super nintendo style uh uh arcadey game or in uh, a little bit of the sega genesis style as well but i can't wait to play that game and then there's another a uh Game called Deer and Boy, which is a cooperative game. It's interesting in the title. And then 
uh, let's see, another uh, 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 RPG type game called Kingdom Come. Looks a very interesting game for those who are interested. And then this one caught my eye called Slitherhead. It's kind of like a prototype game. I can't wait to see more of this game. And uh, I'm really excited, excited for that one. And what other game is coming out? And it's called... Uh, uh, let's see. What's it called? K Kieran? Kieran is a climbing game. It's not my cup of tea. And then Wonder Sh Wonder Shop? Wonder Stop. It's kind of like an under uh, Alice in Wonderland type thing that's going to be happening in this game. So that's, that's going to be an interesting one. And then an Unknown Awakening... Uh, interesting game still. I'm still not 100% convinced yet about that game. And then a fa another fantasy game from uh, called, uh, you know, The Last Song. It looks like a very interesting game. And then, of course, the first uh, Descendant, another tactical game. And then Otter Sloth, I don't know what that is. And then uh, Dune Awakening, that's going to be a fun game to see. Uh, I'm interested in, in, in this uh, game myself. Uh, let's see what else we got. And then the final, if anybody's playing the final, Season 3 is, uh, I think, going to be coming out soon. And... Uh, uh, Alan Awakening's 2 DLC is going to drop soon. So for those who have, have played Alan Wake 2, more DLC is coming towards you guys. So be happy with that. And then Skate. They're, EA is bringing back Skate. That is cool. I would like to check out that game as well. Because I like skateboarding games. I do like the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. And Skate will be very cool to see. And then Power World is getting an update. More power stuff. Hope we get this update too. The same on uh, the same on Xbox. Can't wait to play that. And then uh, Valorant, a, a hero shooter. And there, there was there was more. You know they did show um uh more uh, details of uh, monsters, Monster Hunters, Monster Hunter Wild. And then within the com little bit of the commercial break, they even showed off Mecha Breaks. It's a it's a action. Shoot 'em up FPS uh, game where mechs uh, fight on the ground and in the air. It's kind of like Mobile Suit Gundam, same type of ty type of game uh, display. I can't wait to play that game as well. But all in all, this showcase showed most of the games that I want to play, and also Dragon Ball Z uh, Sparking Zero. It's, it's coming in October 11th. I am so hyped for this Dragon Ball game. Because not only that. They even showed a little bit of what if scenarios. That is the best part about the Tenkaichi games. That they do what if scenarios. I can't wait. I can't wait for, for this Dragon Ball game. So I think that's all of my excitement about all these games. I can't wait to play them. I can't wait to, to, to see what more comes. But... Uh, there's going to be more uh, stuff happening within the uh, gaming showcase since the, the stream is now over. So, hope you guys are continue watching that. And uh, let's get hype for the Xbox showcase. All right, guys. Let's get ready for the Xbox showcase. So, that being said, guys, this is Ultra Dark Slayer. Have a good day. Have a good night wherever you are in the world. Stay safe out there. That's all I got for today. I got to get going because I got a birthday party to go to. All right. So, catch you later, guys. And... Peace. Let's go, Xbox. Let's go.